Hey, good evening. Bo here with Mudding for Jesus. Just going to show you a quick uh, what we've done to the suspension. Wasn't too much. Uh, mainly done the, uh, the front sway bar links. Completely deleted them. Put the PRP limit straps on the front. And then I'll show you what we've done on the back. So sit back and watch. <laughs> high lifter suspension went ahead and deleted the front sway bar completely took it out it is no longer down there and let me tell you it makes a difference uh, especially on the trails but i do highly recommend these are busted knuckles branded prp limit straps now i had to go a little bit longer you can see they're mounted up there to the top of the shot and they come with the hardware and mount down at the bottom I had to go with one inch longer than what was recommended for XP 1000. I don't know if it's because it's a high lifter makes the difference, but with it completely jacked up and com everything stretched out like it needed to be, one inch longer was exactly what I used and needed. Worked fine. Back here on the back, I did leave the system on there because man, it drives like crap. You can't hardly control it, but I did put these on here. Bought these at Napa and a kit. It's just two and they fit perfect. I don't remember exactly the size on it, but man, you just, you can just pull that out, jerk it completely out, go do the other side. And on a high lifter, you can take the sway bar, push the links up and they'll hide and tuck right in behind the snorkel chambers. It'll do that on both sides and you have full articulation and you don't have to worry about tying it up. Now, in other XP1000s that's not a high lifter, you have to tie them up, up out of the way. But other than that, quick and easy to get together. So if that's something you want to do, I highly recommend it. More especially for rock crawling. 